And one of the mistakes that people use is when they stop the sensor here, what they do is they go back and they start new sensor right away. You don't want to do that. That's a big mistake. That's a big no-no. So you want to go back up there and after you stop the sensor, make sure it's not running, it's clear and everything like that. Right here, transmitter, you want to tap on that. So if you go here and you start new sensor, it's going to be looking for, the, for this one here. And the one that you have on right now might be different. So you want to make sure that you go in there and you tap on there and see that you see right here xltkw6 that's not the one i'm using right now so i want to go in here and pair new and you want to enter code enter manually then you get the code this is my code right there i'm going to put it in 9159 we click save that confirm successful and now we want to put in the transmitter serial number enter manually firm successful next and now you're gonna see this this is very important you want to make sure that it's looking for it it might take a few minutes to get it on there guys but you want to make sure that you get this and just let it do its stuff and then it will get into um, the mode where it's going to appear. Make sure you keep it close and we're good to go. So I just got a message saying that it's good to go. So we start in the sensor. Warm up time will start up and here we go. So I just got a message saying that it's good to go. So we start in the sensor. Warm up time will start up and here we go. So here we go guys, it's everything is starting up and ready to go. And this is one of the reasons why I keep, if you look at the bottom here, you, see, you can see I have all these extra ones there at the bottom here. These are used one, I put an X on some of them, I, I put a date on them sometimes. And a lot of times when, I, when, I, um, when I'm running out, which I never really do, I kind of just go in there and take one of these and reinsert it and use it again. You can reuse these guys. You can reuse this. So those of you who, after 10 days, you throw your stuff away, no, you can reuse it. And I've showed you in my playlist below where you can make this last longer, up to 30 days. Or you can take it out, put a new, put a new one of these on there and put back these on there and you're good to go. And save a lot of money, save a lot of money. Guys, this is Charlie, I have more videos. On Dex, I have more videos on the Dexcom 6, um, all kind of stuff, how to make get how to get rid of error message, how to make it last longer, and all that kind of stuff. I will leave the playlist for you guys below. This is Charlie, like and subscribe. I'm out.